Hi everyone. Um, welcome to the second semi-final in the women's. Between Tanvi Khanna and Aprajita, two really experienced players. Um, they played each other multiple times in various trials. Again, the physicality over here is going to make a big difference. Um, Aprajita does have really good hands when given time on the ball. Again, these next few points for Prajita and the first game for Prajita is going to be crucial in this match. Um, that's a really nice trickle boost, really nice deception from Tanvi Ghanna. Prajita just not reading that uh, forehand drive. I think she's looking for the boost over there. That's a really nice point from both, both of them. Um, then we just having the better finish. Yeah, again, Aprajita going for the quick attack. Um, Tanvi is is really physically strong, so the movement into the front corners is going to be is going to be much much uh, easier for her at the start. That's a that's a really desperate shot from the back of the court, and no need for that at all. That's a bit wild from Prajita. That's a nice shot, that's a really nice shot from Aprajita, then we're not expecting that. Like I said, Aprajita with the ball in hand can do a lot. Um, it's on the move where she, she she tends to struggle. There again you see that, she's got, she's got really good hands. That's a, that's a careless error from Aprajita. Comfortable first game for, for Tanvi. Um, Aprajita needs to step it up a little bit, keep the ball a lot tighter. Otherwise, she's going to find that the pace is going to is going to really hurt her movement. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Um, yes. I'm joined by uh, GD Squash Gautam Das from Calcutta. <laughs> it's, not, it's not GD Squash, man. <laughs> On Instagram, guys, if you ever want an interview done, this is this is the moment to write in the comments on YouTube. I have GD Squash here with me. 
guys. I just missed the first one. I think there is some uh, audio problem. Now we can hear you. Uh, yeah, super. Super boost. We see the Bereans player playing both represented the country. So I've been seeing all these youngsters coming up. Uh, if you're noticing this uh, last two games, it's super uh, excited to see these young guys coming up. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I did Akshay's match with Sunaina. Sunaina did overpower yeah, a bit, but you know, it, I think it was really, really good for Akshay to be, um, you know, to, to to be able to reach the semi-finals of a, of a tournament like this. It's it's so much experience, and it's it's really needed for for Indian squash. Absolutely, and yesterday was a big win for her. Huge win. Even even day before, she yeah. was playing Sanika, um, and then again, these are much higher ranked PSA players and ranked more experienced players. Yeah. players. So, and give these guys a lot of confidence. I even felt, uh, you know, Yuvraj beat, uh, I think, Ravi Nikshit in the first round. Again, that's a big win for I them. Think, uh, uh, I think Ravi got injured. I think he didn't uh, get into the court. He was limping before. So he left it. Yeah, but you know, even then, even then, the amount of experience yeah, these guys have absolutely. For, for these kids to, uh, you know, to, to actually squeeze the win out is a big thing. Yeah, it's a huge thing. Tanvi is in control of this game. One lap up. Yeah, I think the physicality for Prajita here, you know, um, that's a beautiful yes. shot. Again, um, that, give her Prajita that, the ball and give her time. Yeah. Absolutely. Her, that's her favorite, holding and playing this kind of shot. She's been playing and she has mastered it. Hey, you know, you can just see the the Tanvi break down Aprajita's movement with that shot there, and and Aprajita struggling to kind of recover from that. And I think that Absolutely. is uh, that is the, the the that is going to be the, the fundamental problem for Aprajita in this match because that's a beautiful shot again from Aprajita on the rise, even, uh, even ball if in it, hand. Even if we uh, uh, talk about the last match where Abhishek was up in the second game, the way. Means when you are up, you shouldn't collapse like that. You should keep your momentum correct and go on. Right, right. And and yeah, there were two massive momentum swings in that match. I actually thought Abhishek would win yes. the second game, um, and that would have been made it a lot more interesting. Made my work a lot longer and harder. But I mean, I think he, uh, all he, the younger generations who are watching, see, it's an unforced error. I Means she could take anything out of that. A little bit uh, greedy to finish it. Yeah, a lot of it I think comes down to the physicality of it. You know, she knows. Uh, I mean, Tanvi is the fitter player here, so Aprajita knows that. You know, and and that's where the little she bit of to, desperation kind of starts coming. And she has to go for the shot. I mean, she cannot yeah. go and keep on running. Correct. Like there again, yeah. you see that it's just the 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 pace of hit. Is uh, is troubling uh, Aprajita. Aprajita. But I think this younger generation need to know that you have to keep the ball and uh, do not go. I Means you can go for quicker shots, but I guess they have to keep the ball and play and attack. Yeah, that's something you know. I was really impressed with uh, with Akshya. She's uh, you know, yes. play in the earlier rounds. Even today, even today with uh, Sunaina, she played quite well. Sunaina is obviously really experienced and extremely good. Um, but Akshya, you know, and 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 it just shows because she's fit enough, so she's she's okay to play the longer game. She's not in such a hurry. Um, she does attack. It's not that she won't attack, but she does it very intelligently. It's not unnecessarily done, which is a problem in Actually, most yes. junior. Miss Akshya. Unforced again, the like two, three unforced okay. error, and you have to. Yeah, I think the the uh, mindset is Akshay Shri or the younger generation. They have come up. I've been I've been watching them after almost a year and a half. I mean, there's no live matches going on, or but the way they have improved on the physical uh, things, it's tremendous. I and mean, this is how 
I think uh, the game is also becoming very intense and if you do not focus on your physical thing just by shots I don't think that uh, you can uh, grab your match what, what are your views? I, I agree with you especially at the higher level you know it's 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 at the at the under 13 and the under 15 you get away with a few uh, with, a, with a few decent uh, you know shots and all that but the minute you enter the under 19 and the women's um, and even the women, you see the PSA now, the top 20 uh, women, it, you know, it's a lot different from what it was, say, five years or ten years ago, where only the I mean, top four or five were really uh, professional about it. No, I'm talking even in the world, you know, so the, the overall level of women's physically has gone up so much that the junior girls need to get physically, uh, you know, ready for that kind of a game. Because when during this pandemic, which is um, ongoing, most of the courts have opened. But during the last year of pandemic, every uh, everything was shut. I think people have real limits. All our players have taken real pain in doing their fitness workouts, which we can see. Yeah, which is really good, you know. So that's I think once the uh, I think every junior who's kind of watching this and listening in is going to be praying that. You know, we give them some sort of a weird heads up that okay, tournaments are starting now, because um, I think everyone is really working hard, and you know, it's it makes it so much harder to work hard when you don't have a tournament in sight because you don't know Correct. what you're training for. Yeah. So you know, this initiative, I think this is huge. If these tournaments go off smoothly, there's one more in uh, Shimnada University coming up. It'll give the federation also a lot more confidence to kind of you know do the junior yeah. circuit, and Absolutely. Uh, and I think that'll be amazing for the kids. I think once these two tournaments go what the discussion was going on, I think they might plan to start the junior circuit in that way. Yeah, so that'll be that's a beautiful shot from Tanvi. She doesn't uh, you know usually hit that. Um, I think that's something. Since so I do coach her, so that's something. Yeah, we we have been working on a lot because you see the Egyptian girls, you know, they they play the all court game, and it's not just Absolutely. you know from from and and with a margin, it's not just um, just keep you know, on only when someone is yeah. supposed. Yeah, yeah. So and and the game but is the changing; main, it's becoming dynamically better. Absolutely, the main problem I think it's happening with our players. They do not change. They uh, they have to change the pace. If somebody is playing faster, you slow it down and. Keep on changing the pace. Keep on making the players move all around. They feel that if they are playing, to keep on playing that one side. Correct. Correct. Absolutely right. So once that uh, the mentality changed, I mean that has to come in your practice sure. session. That means the coach should give a free hand to the players do do whatever you want Correct. in the practice. Correct. So that the idea is because we as a, we should be using our thing as the guidelines. That means if I tell him that no, on the drop you have to play a move or a counter drop or, or a drop, so they only keep on doing that. You give them that these are the things which go like what happened right now. Right. Ask them to right. this is the thing we can do, but you can also use your head and try and do different things. So once the confidence comes, then they show it in their match. Absolutely. You are a you know a level. Three, am I right? Yes. A level three yes. WSL level three. So yes. Yeah. All you junior coaches, including me, got it from uh, <laughs> GD directly. <laughs> Tips. Uh, that's that's something feel. that you know. I, I, I learned that in the WSF one because you know you guys are not taught all this. So there, these open drills, etc., etc., make a big difference. They do Absolutely. make a big difference because as a coach, you're usually just doing closed drills most of the time, and that's not good, yeah. The close drills and the thing is, our means I do not want to criticize any of the coaches, but they said no, you have to play this. So where's the players yeah, yeah. evolving yeah. their own the ideas? Creativity kind of. The creativity right, goes. Right. So you give them okay a guideline. Okay, you can do this, but you can also do that. So once you start doing that, I think the players also get more confident and play freely. Right. So I feel the coach at the starting point should not give any any pressure to a player. You do whatever. You see Tanvi, the way she is moving, she is utilizing. That's the a beautiful points. shot. I, I you know Absolutely. at the last three points we guys have been discussing other stuff, but have been played um, of really really high quality. 
which is good to see. You know, that's that's really loose for Madhu. As soon as I say that, I, I end up jinxing whichever player <laughs> I say that. <laughs> No, the main thing you see Tanvi, she is making Abrajita move all four corners. She's not playing one side or playing mm -hmm. that short. Country. She just continuously making her move, thinking that because of her fitness level or whatever, she must be tired from the last match. But she's making her move, and where she is getting the points. I think the junior right. player should learn from this that you have to utilize all four corners instead of just playing uh, that rallies and rallies. Um, Absolutely, and that's why I think you know this is. I think if HCL can continue to support SRFI and we can have a lot more of these uh, PSAs, even just to watch for the juniors, it's amazing. I mean, right now obviously crowds are not loud, but you know, um, I remember pre-COVID, uh, SRFI had started uh, timing the junior tournaments along with the PSAs. You know, that uh, junior tournament would end, and the last two days you would have the PSA. Yeah, and that was phenomenal for the uh, for the for the players, juniors, because they got to see the semis and the finals and how these guys played, the physical nature, maybe interact with a few of them. So it was really, really Absolutely. good. Absolutely, and it's a it's a match ball, and again, I think we will see Tanvi and uh, Sunaina playing the in the finals. What's finals your prediction, GD? Let's yeah. hear you live. <laughs> <laughs> what is your prediction for the finals? Let's put you on the spot. I think it will, it will be a very good match. Yeah. It's, I feel that last time they played here in Kakata, it was quite a close one. Right. But I think uh, it will be a good match. Both, both the players are working very hard, what I have been seeing from the things. But I guess it's a stroke. No, you got to give a prediction, bro, before this is over. You can't just run away with this diplomatic. Both are playing well and all. You have to pick one. Guys, he's live on YouTube. He has to pick one. Pick one. So no one's going to do anything. No, absolutely. So, so which one you are trying to I, I, I feel no. it's... Uh, we'll see. I feel it's Tanvi. Okay, I picked one. Oh, God. Now, just to make it equal, I can't obviously go with Sunera because I do coach Tanvi. So, I'm just neutrally going to say that it's going to be a great match. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> no, but it's going to be a very tough match. Because uh, you saw, because Sunena at the last match, I think she made a lot of unforced error. And with the junior players, you can't do it. Obviously, she uh, was under pressure. But she cannot right. make those kind of mistakes uh, where with uh, junior players like them. So, in that way, I think she should come back with the full uh, confidence and play on. And that should be a great match tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for that. I will be seeing you in the <laughs> next match, which is Pradhan versus uh, Betha. That's yeah, going to be yeah, an interesting match. That will match be also. A interesting, very interesting. A lot of referee have to do a lot of things. Yeah? You just wait and watch. <laughs> okay, bye, Gautam. I'll see okay, you for that one. Okay, bye. Bye.